Hello there guys, this is Andy here for GBTV and welcome to a very different video if you can't tell by what's in front of you. Um, yes, I am, at, well, I'll just say it again, um, I am a avid Cuba fan. Um, this is just some of the cubes that I have with me here in London. Um, I've got way more cubes um, back home. Um, but yeah, I just want to go through my collection that I have here. Um, it has definitely grown, to say the least. So we'll start off with this one. This is a Chi Yi 2x2. I'm not sure exactly of the model, but this was part of my Reddit Secret Santa gift. So thank you very much, my Santa. But yeah, this is a very good 2x2. Um, definitely turns well. Um, what more can I say? It's a 2x2. Um, this is now my main speed 3x3. Uh, I've managed to get my record on this one, uh, so yeah, this is an amazing 3x3, three three. Um, I clearly still need to get better, but that is my own personal goal, is to get sub 30 with this cube. Then we have the Chi, oh sorry, that was the Chi Yi Sail W, we have the Chi Yi 4x4, um, so yeah, again, it's just a 4x4. Four don't know what more I can tell you about that, to be fair. I mean, it turns all right, it's a bit clunky, but then again, it is a multi-layered multi puzzle, so what more do you expect? Then we have one of my least, I mean, I'm sorry, but it is one of my least favorite puzzles to actually solve because it takes so long. That's the Megamix. This is, again, the Chi Yi Megamix. Essentially, everything on top row minus square one is is Chi Yi. Um, and actually, there's the logo there. Yeah, Chi Chi Yi cube. Um, even though it clearly isn't a cube. But yeah, this is a twelve sided dodecahedron puzzle. Um this is this is equivalent to a three by three. And they do go up to I believe there's one which is thirteen by thirteen. I'm do not quote me on that one. Then we have the Chi Yi Pyramid, which is one one of the easiest puzzles on on this table to solve. Um I'll, I'll obviously guess the guess the easiest puzzle to solve. Sorry, there's one here, sneak peek. Um, and then we have the square one. This is, again, one of my least favorite puzzles to solve, so, so I like to keep it solved. But the interesting thing about this one is that it turns on it on a 30-degree um, axis. And so if you do that, then it definitely shapeshifts. And I think that's why I don't really like solving it, but this is just a generic square one. I think I found this one on the car boot, actually. So, yeah, I don't know the, the brand of it. But yeah, that's a square one. Then, then we move on to my Rubik's puzzle. So we have a Rubik's brand 2x2. Two two. This is just horrible. I mean, cannot corner cut at all. Um, it's just cheap. Well, no, it's not cheap. It. I mean, it's definitely heavier than my speed one. And it just feels clunky. And it feels tiny as well because it's so much smaller. Don't have a Rubik's Brand 3x3. Now, funny thing about this one, um, I actually don't have a Rubik's Brand 3x3 here in London, so I actually bought this one uh, about two days ago uh, because I've been using that one. But obviously, I've got a Rubik's Brand 2x2 two two and 4 before. I needed a Rubik's Brand 3x3, so that's what this one is. And you know what? Rubik's Brands have actually somewhat gotten better. I mean, they're definitely finger trickable. Yeah, that's my Rubik's Brand 3x3. Three three. Then I have Rubik's Brand 4x4. This one is definitely yellowed, as as you can tell there. Um, this one is just so clunky and horrible, and it's just clicky. And I mean, okay, well that 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 never happened before. I was turning the top layer, and the bottom layer came with it. But yeah, so this four x four is definitely one of my least favourites. Then we have a again. I think this was on car boot sale, um, but I had to put Q Smith stickers on it because otherwise <laughs> I would have had no stickers on it. Yeah, so this is my, um, this is my car boot Mega Minx. Again, I don't know the name of it. Um, th this this was my own Mega Minx for a very long time. Again, until my Secret Santa came out, which is good. Yeah, um, yeah Q Smith stickers on it, so I've got my own custom um, pattern on it because I wanted the um, kind of like the normal Rubik's brand colours, so so you know, yellow, blue, red, yellow, blue, red, and then 
had to do the orange opposite. Anyway, getting distracted. We have a, I think this is an original Methods Pyraminx with, with obviously Q Smith stickers on it. Uh, yeah, I did not know about the Gugon thing at the time. And interesting story why that tip is a different color. Um, when I was at sick form, um, one of my schoolmates just cut it in that one. And so I had to peel it off and I just use some uncut sticker material. And yeah, turns all right, but definitely not as nice and smooth as this one. Then we have my Axis Cube. This I bought from the shop The Works here in the UK. Again, one of my least favorites to solve because it's a shapeshifter and I'm not a huge fan of shapeshifters. But yeah, that is the checkerboard pattern. Crazy. Then we have these two, these two, well, no, this is definitely my oldest 4x4. This is actually a East Sheen clone 4x4 because when I bought this, it was probably about 2011, something like that. Because I've been doing Rubik's Cube for about 10 years now. But yeah, this is an East Sheen clone. This was my only 4x4 and, and I'm not sure if you can hear that, but it's just, you know, it's just loud and crunchy. Whereas this one. You know, it's quiet, it's it's all right. But this one, yeah, no, people know you're solving this one. People know you're solving this one, but people don't really know that much about this one. So that, that's good. And last but not least, the easiest one to solve, the void cube. Stickerless, yes. Um, the stickers were peeling massively on this one. Um, and so I had to just get rid of the stickers. Um, I'm currently looking for some replacement stickers for it, but yeah, but at the moment, you know, it is easy to solve. Um, well, because there are no stickers. But one of the worst returns, because obviously there's no core, which means there's no spring, which means no corner cutting. Look at that. Nope. Nope. There we go. So yeah, that's my little collection. Um, look out in the future for another video where I'll be doing an unboxing from two different shops. You know. Thank you very much for watching guys, if you have enjoyed then hit that like button, hit subscribe and yeah, there will be more cubing videos coming soon, there will be more, well, well, well hopefully there will be theme park videos soon and obviously more wrestling videos as soon as a new um, wrestling card set comes up. Uh, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.